Hi, this is Greg McCoach, editor of The Mining Speculator. We're here in Vancouver at the Metals Investor Conference with John Bigzock, VP of Exploration for Ramios Gold. Uh, John, welcome to be here. Oh, thank you, Greg. It's yeah, a great pleasure. This thank is you. your first time at uh, this conference. How did you like yeah. the venue? Oh, I thought it was terrific. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of interaction among the companies here and, and the, the investors one-on-one. -on -one and, yeah. uh, uh, it was, it was great to hear their questions and, and provide information for them. Yeah, no, that's great. So I like, I've been telling everybody that, uh, you know, Ramios Gold and some of the other in companies that I've invited here are all what I deem elephant hunters. Mm -hmm. You guys are looking for big, big yeah. scale, big deposits that the majors would covet. And you have multiple project areas, but I think the, the area we want to talk about most for those who are watching today um, is the, the project in the Golden Triangle and yes. you have one of the biggest land packages yeah. up there. Why don't you explain to us the basics for what's happening up there? Okay, well, as I said, uh, uh, Romeo's has uh, 72,000 hectares right in the heart of the, the Golden Triangle. We have uh, the giant Galore Creek deposits right on our northern boundary. SK Creek is just to the south and Bruce Jack. Two former gold producing mines right on our southern border. So we have a lot of very prospective ground right in, in the heart of the triangle there. We have one of the few companies in the area that have an NI43-101 compliant uh, resource yep. uh, and the highest gold grade of any of the base metal prospects in the area. It's uh, four and a half gram gold plus 0.2 copper and, and, and uh, about six grams uh, silver. Um, so we have that, that kind of anchor resource in, in the middle of the property. Uh, we believe, uh, based on the recent geophysics, that there's room to expand that probably two or three times based on the geophysical signature. So we'll be out there this summer uh, drilling some holes to see if that holds water. Yeah. Um, and surrounding that, uh, that uh, central project, there's 25 other known showings of copper, gold, silver in, the, in that area. And they seem to cluster around magnetic features that we think are uh, buried granitic plutons that might be the source for these mineralizing fluids. So lots of evidence that you know yes. we need mm. to get after the drilling yeah. here. Yes, yeah. several, several big systems all uh, in close proximity uh, which is typical of these kind of camps. They tend to occur in clusters. Um, two of the clusters are covered by snow, which is rapidly receding and as recently exposed one of the, the best prospects in the area, Burgundy Ridge, where we have uh, about 0.47% uh, copper uh, in, over uh, about a 300 by 200 meter uh, area. Uh, never been drilled, appears to be open in at least two directions, and so that'll be our other big target for the summer. And you're just north of two recent discoveries mm -hmm. last summer, mm -hmm. from what I understand. You know, you got Garibaldi right yeah. to your south, mm -hmm. and uh, from, uh, from, you're a geologist, right? Yes. So what, what created this incredible Golden Triangle area with mm -hmm. all these tremendous uh -huh. mineral deposits? Uh -huh. What occurrences and deposits, yeah? Well, it's, it's kind of a, a collage of, of accreted terrains, like a lot of British Columbia, you know, uh, started much smaller, but, you know, hundreds of millions of years ago, and then one volcanic terrain after another uh, 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 collided through plate tectonics and was accreted onto it. It's like, you know, Japan sailing across the ocean and, and being welded onto British Columbia. So uh, many of those belts were, were uh, prolific with mineralization uh, when they formed, so now they're welded onto BC, and that process of when they accreted caused more magnetism to come up there and create even more mineralization. Uh, so there's multiple events. Pulses, in, multiple events, yes. yeah. And, and some of, that's why some of the belts are so different. You have SK Creek in a certain package of rocks, and then another uh, belt of rocks uh, formed that created porphyries right beside it. Right. You know, you're, you might only be 10 or 20 kilometers away, but completely different geological history. Yeah. Um, so the, a wide range of- Yeah, uh, it's uh, an amazing very area. Very rich deposit type yeah, side from, by side. Yeah, for a geologist, it's uh, the bonanza of yeah. all yeah. areas. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's so. really is elephant country. So, yeah, mm. so the, the key is in wealth creation mm. is to mm. put a, a, a drill hole that yes. grabs the market's attention. Mm. And in your case, because of the mm. various, the big mm. land package that you have, which mm. is what the majors covet, mm. you know, if they, they see a big discovery, they want to make sure there's a big land package yes. there. And you certainly have that. Yes. Um, so it's, it's now a matter of adding on to the discoveries you've already made yes. in these areas. Yeah. And because you have such a big land package, you have options. You, mm -hmm. you can 
drill the stronger projects yourself and you mm -hmm. could vend out the mm -hmm. other projects to yes. somebody else in a joint right. venture. Yes, and we're certainly dis uh, discussing that. We have a lot of great meetings here at the, at the forum uh, with a number of companies and we'll, you know, we'll see what happens uh, if there's interest in, in vending off some of those or optioning them off while we focus on that, that, that core resource and, and yeah. adding in that area. Now, I'm going to be going up there on a site visit. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about July, I yeah. think, at yes. this point. We're mm -hmm. trying to schedule this. Don't have the exact dates yet. Yeah. But I'm quite excited to get up there, and uh, I want to really do the full mm -hmm. full package and really get mm -hmm. to understand what's yeah. happening up yeah. there, you know, because mm -hmm. I always tell people, you know, looking at things at, uh, on maps and websites mm -hmm. is one thing, but when you... You know, when you're there and you can see the scale yeah. of everything and you can see the surroundings and the, the, the mineralization that outcrops, yes. it gets quite yeah. exciting. Yeah. And I know this area has, has the goods yeah. and the drills will always tell the story. So yeah. you'll, you'll start drilling this summer. That's the plan. Uh, yeah. I'll be up there in, in June. Uh, in get the, ready. A, a little time to get the, the snow melted and then uh, uh, um, get some of the, the sites uh, prepared. And yep. uh, then hopefully uh, late July, early August, we'll, we'll start drilling. Uh, uh, yeah. And, uh, and roughly how many meters do you think we'll drill? What we'll need to um, drill to test these targets? We, we expect there's going to be. Uh, Probably two main sites with about three holes on each one. Okay. Uh, so may maybe six in initially to see if what we believe is there uh, really is the case. So th those might be you know two or three hundred meters each. So okay. pro probably a couple thousand meters initially. And if any of them hits, then we're off to the races. Off to the races. Yeah. That'd be exciting. Yeah. yeah. Big extension. So uh, anything last comments you'd like to make as we sign mm -hmm. off here? Well, it's, it's my first time back in BC in, in quite a while and working with Romeos, and I, I'm just amazed at how many uh, great prospects there are and, and, and uh, uh, excited to see what we can make of it. Right. You never know when the drills are turning, what's yeah. going to happen, yeah. so Thank let you. them turn and yeah. let's yeah. hope for the best. It's a great truth detector. Yeah. 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 John, thanks okay. for being here. Thank you very much, Mike. Yep. Take care.